hello welcome to my channel this is Kendra Morgan and today's video is part of Marie's Vermont Creations 500 subscriber hop we are celebrating Marie reaching 500 subscribers and there will be a giveaway so stay tuned to the end for more details on what you'll need to do to enter to win for this video hop each of the participants are doing a rainbow themed project and I'm sharing how to do the slimline split card design this is a hashtag driven hop so to find the additional videos you'll click on the hashtag over the rainbow for 500 in the description box when you're finished watching if you're not already a subscriber go ahead and click that subscribe button down below so let's get started i'm using the cloud borders slimline metal dies that i purchased from amazon and these pink and main stitched oval dies along with this die cuts with a view glitter cardstock paper that i've had for a while i believe i bought it from joann's but i'm not quite sure um, so now I'm just taking out one sheet of each color in the paper pad so that I can use it for the different colors of the rainbow. I'm using a piece of painter's tape to hold the dies in place so I can run each of the glitter sheets through my Big Shot die cutting machine. And because I'm running each color through using all of these dies, I know I'm going to have a lot of extra pieces to make some more cards. But that was the whole reason I wanted to do this so that I could mass produce. Now this next step is one that I wish that I had not done until after I put all of the different glitter colors in order. But it's okay, I'm one of those card makers that make and record as I go. I don't make a card first and then record myself making another of the same card. But had I done this, I would not have cut these in half as you just saw me doing. So now I am taking a sheet of Simon Hurley stark white cardstock and I'm cutting it at seven inches on the 11 inch side. And then I'm scoring it at three and a half inches to make my card base. So the measurements for my slimline card are going to be eight and a half by three and a half inches. So now I'm placing my cloud border dies, one of them right below the score line, which will be the top of the front of the card, and then the other die along the bottom. I placed the largest of the glitter pieces to make sure I had the spacing right. And then now I'm taping the dies in place using some washi tape and then running it through my Gemini machine. So I'm going to set this centerpiece aside because I won't be using it for this card. But I, just to explain kind of how this is going to work, the bottom cloud is going to connect to the top cloud of the card with the rainbow. And I initially thought that I would just use the rainbow to hold the two together, but I ended up using a piece of acetate just to make it a little stronger. Now this painter's tape is pretty strong and in the past it has torn my cardstock so you saw me put it on that scrap piece of paper just to remove some of the stickiness. And now I'm just taping this down using some removable tape so that it won't curl up on me. And now I am placing all of the different glitter strips in rainbow color order. And the reason why you see several pieces of painter's tape is because I had originally planned on making all of the rainbows at one time but I just um, decided to set this aside for another day. I wanted to finish up this card first. To hold all of the rainbow pieces together, I had to cut out another oval out of another sheet of Simon Hurley stark white cardstock using the largest of the oval dies. And I marked it in the center and now I've cut it down the middle so I could start gluing on the colorful strips. So because I'm trying to mass produce cards, since I have all these glitter strips, I decided to cut more than just one sheet. So here I'm just using a piece of painter's tape to kind of reverse what I had. And so I'll be able to add the glue to the back. I'm using some Nuvo Deluxe Adhesive Liquid Glue to glue the pieces down. And you see that I had to kind of cut off the <laughs> painter's tape because it was in my way for me setting this down. And I'm just going to be using my Tim Holtz mini snips to cut off any of the white that's showing. Now off camera, I took a piece of clear acetate and cut it down to three and three eighths of an inch by eight and a half inches, just a little bit less than three and a half inches um, so that it would fold correctly. And then I did this because I wanted it to hold all the pieces together. I wanted to make sure that the front of the card was strong. So I glued the rainbow piece onto the acetate and then I attached that to the back flap of the top of the card. And now here I'm just gluing down that bottom piece. Now 
just to hold everything down while it dries I place my stamping platform on top of it I'm um, not here I am just cutting some additional cloud border die cuts to glue to the back sides of where my acetate is showing the glue where it was glued down earlier I had to mark where to cut them and then I used my paper trimmer just to just to cut it down I wanted them to match up So once I got them to the exact size that I needed them, I just glued them down to the back side of the acetate, the part where the glue is showing. Okay, so now to work on the center of my card, I've cut another piece of cardstock down to three and three eighths of an inch by eight and a half, and now I'm gonna be doing some ink blending. You'll see that I have the My Favorite Things Cheerful Blessings stamp set out. That's the sentiments that I'm going to be using here in a minute. But this is the Simon Hurley Create Scene Builder Stencil, which I love. I use it all the time. And this has got all the different things that you need to create a scene. It's got the sun. You can build some clouds, some grass, some mountains, birds, and stars. Um, but it's, it's even got the masks in it. So I'm going to be coloring the rays first. I had to make sure I had the placement right. But... I'm using some Simon Hurley inks and the first color is Slippery When Wet and I'm applying it with my Picket Fence Life Changing Blender brushes. And then I'll be removing that circle mask and applying the guppy to the center of the sun. After I started applying the guppy, I realized it was going to be too orange and I wanted to add more yellow. So here I'm just adding in some psych. Um, I just love the names of these inks. I think it's hilarious, but the inks blend really well. So I've um, slowly but surely been adding more to my collection. After cleaning off my stencil, now I'm going to be applying clear skies to create my clouds. Now you notice those stars right below the clouds. I almost messed up and forgot to mask those off. In the past I've used it and I've accidentally put some blue stars on my backgrounds. For the sentiment on the front of the card I'm using this stamp that says rainbows follow bad weather and I am inking um, my stamp up with some Ranger Archival ink and um, applying it directly to the bottom right hand corner of that cloud piece. Now had I done this before, if I were making another card, I probably would have stamped it down before gluing all this together. But like I said, I'm kind of making this up as I go. So here I'm just applying some clear embossing powder to that and brushing off the excess with my paintbrush so that I can heat, heat emboss it and get a little bit of a raised look. I've really sped this part of the video up to save time. But now moving on to the center of the card, I am stamping down the sentiment. I've placed that scene down into my Misty stamping platform. And again, I'm inking this up using some Ranger Archival ink, applying pressure with my microfiber towel on top just to make sure that I get good even coverage. And then I'm adding some clear embossing powder to this as well. So now let me tell you about the giveaway and what you need to do to enter. Marie is doing a giveaway on her channel. One prize will be a $25 gift certificate to the Rabbit Hole Designs. The second prize will be $10 to Doodles Paper Playground on Etsy, which is where you can buy sparkle blends for shaker cards. And the third prize will be an alcohol ink rainbow design made by Marie. The winners will be drawn from comments on her hop video, and the drawing will stay open for one week. So she'll draw and announce the winner on her channel on Sunday, November 29th. I'm also doing a giveaway here on my channel. You'll have a chance to win this Shellabrate bundle by Pink and Main. And all you have to do to enter to win is just leave a comment below and make sure you're a subscriber to my channel. Here is my finished card. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch this. And don't forget to go check out the other videos in this hop by clicking on the hashtag in the description box below. 
You can also find me on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest at Cards by Kendra. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day.